Hi, this is Pete with PDR Mobile. I'm going to do a video tutorial today on projects. And this is going to be one of several videos. And today's video is going to focus on just setting up a project and a project site. And then I'll have some other videos on how to really leverage the use of projects within the app. So what you're looking at right now is the flyout menu within the app. And I'm going to go ahead and select projects. And that's going to pull me over to my project list page. And as you can see, I have several projects started. And what I want to do is if I want to create a new project, I just need to tap on the plus sign. And all you need to do is put a name in there. I'm going to start uh, one in Ohio. Save that. And there's my Ohio project at the bottom. Now I have to, cr I have to, uh, create a site, at least one site within the project to do anything with it. It's kind of like creating a folder in your app called Ohio, and then all the work goes in that folder through sites. So as you can see here, there are currently no sites tied to this project. Please select the plus button to add a new site. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to call this A, B, C, Body Shop. Now really that's all I need to do to start a site and I can select done, but I also want to show you another feature. I can actually type in the body shop name up here and I have no idea where ABC body shop is going to be, but I'm sure there's going to be one in the country. It's probably not in Ohio. Sure enough uh, and at the bottom, you can see it's in um, Florida. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a description in here. And again, this could be anything you'd like. I'm going to type large building in back and tap on done in the upper right corner. That's thinking. So there's my site. It has the name of the site, the address, since I located it through the mapping. But just for demonstration purposes, let's just add another site. And I'm just going to do a site title. I'm just going to call it Site 2. And then just save that. And there's another site. You don't have to do those other things. You can just simply put a name to it and go. Now once you have sites, now Here's the, the part where I'm going to do another video on around leveraging uh, users and inviting people and things of that nature. But you would need to invite people to the sites in the project. As you can see, I've got several people I've invited that are pending and, and haven't accepted because I'm testing. I was testing. So all you need to do to invite somebody is tap on the invite in the upper right hand corner. And if they are currently a PDR mobile user, you can search the, our database and quickly find that. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. I'm going to type Gordon, our IT guru in the company. And you can see he's got several accounts open here. So I'm just going to tap on the hot owner account that fills in the information. We default his role as an estimator. There's only two options here, estimator and manager. The difference mainly is a manager would be able to see other people's work, where an estimator role would be only able to see their work. So I'm going to keep the estimator intact here. And also I need to attach them to a site. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select on both sites that Gordon's going to work at. I select done. I can put the commission agreement in here if, if I want, and that's going to help with tech assignments and managing uh, who owes who money. And I can put an invite message in here if I choose to. Once all that's done, I, se I select done. And that notification will be sent to Gordon that he's been invited to a project. And all Gordon would have to do is go to his projects page on the bottom right, you'll see invitations. 
and there'll be a pending invitation there that they would uh, that he would select and accept or reject. Well, I hope this video tutorial has been helpful, and thanks for being a PDR Mobile member.